There's another mechanism of deterioration that we can analyze for in temperature and humidity data, and that is um, physical or mechanical uh, forms of deterioration. This is a little 1710 uh, vellum. Um, vellum is a, it's also called parchment. It's a, a form of animal skin. It's a protein membrane stretched over cardboard and uh, forms the covers of this little book. And one of the things that's happened to this book over time is that, as you can see, its cover is permanently deformed and angling up. If this were a very dry day, this, this phenomenon of splaying, I believe it's called by the rare book librarians, uh, would, would be exaggerated, and the cover would be even more open. Uh, actually, we've used this little book for experiments into physical or mechanical deterioration, where we varied the relative humidity and actually um, observed the, the amount of this phenomenon that we see. In extreme cases, what happens to books like this under extreme dryness is that these stresses that occur in the binding could actually tear the, the skin of the binding it, uh, right here at these stress points at the corners. It's unfortunately an all too common thing for rare book collections that have experienced prolonged bouts of winter dryness. There could be an opposite phenomenon of physical or mechanical deterioration due to prolonged uh, high humidity or dampness and that could cause permanent warps that one would see. The, the cover of this book is laying relatively flat, but in the cases of vellum or parchment exposed to prolonged damp conditions, then warps and deformations are, are quite common. So that's an example of the kind of deterioration, the category of decay, which we call physical or mechanical. These are water-absorbing materials, paper, cardboard, wood, and um, animal skins, and as they absorb or lose water, their physical properties change. They shrink, they swell. The stresses, tears, cracks, and permanent deformations that result are what we mean by mechanical or physical damage.